A former Miami-Dade corrections officer is in jail tonight. She's accused of swindling her disabled neighbor out of her home. Now, CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho explains how investigators say this plot worked. What's very sad about this situation, he just didn't have anybody there to be able to protect him and he couldn't protect himself. Broward property appraiser Marty Kerr shows how the former Miami-Dade corrections officer, Carmelia Newbold, allegedly uh, exploited an elderly, physically and mentally challenged man, her neighbor, from just two doors down in this Miramar neighborhood. He had no other family members, nobody else. The alleged scheme took place after Thomas Chiapetta's sister died in January of 2020. Detective with the appraiser's office's Crimes Against Property team discovered that Newbold produced a fraudulent, durable power of attorney document to gain legal authority over the victim and his assets. So they had to backdate the power of attorney, and because of that, we had interviewed the notary who became a witness and was able to verify that it's an invalid uh, power of attorney. Investigators followed the paper trail, discovering that Newbold filed a quick claim deed to take over Chiapetta's home in June of 2021. And shortly after, detectives say she sent him to a long-term care facility to begin renting out this property. Detectives say he later died at that facility in 2022. I went to the home and asked the renters if they knew anything about the alleged scheme. We just went to one here. We don't know about that. Are you surprised to find out? Yeah, so what can I do? What can I say? As for their landlord, 51-year-old Newbold, she appeared in bond court Friday morning. She faces two first-degree felony charges for organized fraud and financial exploitation of an elderly person or disabled adult. She's being held on a $100,000 bond and must prove the funds came from a legitimate source. Reporting in Miramar, Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami. His team has made contact with an heir of the family, and they are currently working to get the property back in the family's name.